I am now sponsored by SeatGeek and FanDuel. Make sure to use code BENGAL. That's code BENGAL for $20 off your first purchase on SeatGeek and $20 free to play when you sign up for FanDuel. Also, check out my Twitch for live streams, my second channel for other games. Both links are in the description. What's going on, guys? Ben Galigan here coming back at you with another video today on Houston Oilers franchise once again. I'm going to try to really get ahead on this so you guys actually have videos to watch. I've been doing a lot of NFL content, but I love the NFL. Or I love football, I should say. And draft season's coming up. I've gotten a little away from the video games a little bit. But uh, we're back, at least for right now. And uh, we take on the Jacksonville Jaguars today. We got absolutely pounded in our last game, no pun intended, as we lost to the Panthers. Of course, their motto is keep pounding. And hopefully today, we... Uh, we right the ship. We get back on track. We're 2-1 and one with a 68 overall team. I'm not really trying to win every game. I mean, we'll make the sliders harder if we have to. But, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and scout some players. Of course, I am bringing in the 2020 draft class, which features Tua and a number of other players. What do we need? Everything? Okay. So I talked a lot about wanting to improve the defensive line and maybe going to a 5-2. Uh, Yuhana Gaifan out of Wyoming is actually a monster. Not sure he would be a guy that we target with our first pick. Um, there's no Raekwon Davis in here or Derek Brown, which there should be. So I guess I could add them myself. Uh, I don't know about that. Feels a little bit uh, disingenuous. Chase Young looks all right. Seeing him before. Cornerback Byron Murphy, of course, shouldn't be in this class. I guess this class wasn't updated. Maybe I'll try getting an updated version. Hold on. All right, I'll try to download it again. I've been using Thomas Draft 2020. I just feel like it's one of the better classes out there. It has a lot of depth on it. And for the 2020 draft class, I haven't seen much that are even in the same range at all. So I do like to use that one. If you guys want to use my class for 2019, I don't have a 2020. Uh, that is available on here. I'm not sure if I'm going to do a draft class next year. Everyone keeps asking me to update it. Guys, I've been so busy, and I, I don't want to make excuses, but it's just updating a draft class on Madden is the last of my priorities right now. So apologies, but that's where I am on that. All right, here we go. This is a little bit better. Got Raekwon Davis in here now. He's listed at right end. So he's more of a nose tackle, if I'm honest with you. But uh, still, still a solid player. Derek Brown's in here. Okay, this is what I'm talking about. Where's Johanna Gaifan? Like, he's actually a good player. They move his position. I don't know. Whatever. Another player I might look at, Grant Delpit. The best defensive back in college football, if I'm being honest with you. Uh, Brandon Jones, of course, hook him horns, but uh, he's just not on the same level as Grant Delpit. All right, we're in a pretty good spot. I haven't really found anyone, you know, too interesting, but today we got to take on the Jaguars. We're going to upgrade Darrell Williams. We're going to get him up. We'll go past Protector, try to fit the scheme a little bit more, even if it doesn't impact overall just yet. Better player now. He's going to be uh, very good at left tackle. Team is moving in the correct direction. Nasir Adderley, we're going to get him better. We'll do zone. We really want him to be that over-the-top, rangy, playmaking, free safety that we know he can be. His own coverage is going to improve by one. And then we'll take on Isaiah Oliver here. We'll also stick to the scheme fit. We'll go man-to-man. -man. Very talented player, of course. He had uh, an interception in his debut for us after we traded for him in week two before our game against the Falcons. All right, Jacksonville Jaguars. Let's go ahead and see their roster. We'll see if they have any Ozark State players on them. I don't remember if they do. They have Corey Davis now. Okay, so former Titan, and of course, that's kind of like former Oiler at this point. But uh, he signs with the Jaguars. Also have ASJ. Anyone... In particular, on the offensive line, nothing really of note, in my opinion, uh, of any player that we might have seen before. Colt Nash. They've got Colt 45. Colt Nash is on the Jags. And he's a 77 overall now. Okay. Miles Jack. Anyone else? Telvin Smith. Trayvon Mullen, they drafted out of Clemson this year. Deshaun Gibson, Lucas Dennis, they drafted. And uh, that's pretty much it. So we got to face a former Ozark State player. Of course, it's Washita Baptist in the game because uh, Ozark State doesn't exist. But wow. All right. I see you, Colt 45. We are we are mismatched in this one. We'll see what we can do. 
All right, let's start things off here. Is this still called Everbank Stadium? I think it is. I don't know. I don't know that I've ever played here in Madden 19. That sounds crazy to say. I'm not sure I ever have. I really like the lighting here. I like the temperature. It's a little warmer uh, in terms of color range. I like these white Oilers uniforms, and I like facing Blake Bortles because he absolutely sucks. We'll see what we can do here. Bortles fumbles the football. Somebody pick it up. Not a Jaguar. It's like Romeo Aquara came in to make the tackle. He got the pressure from that left end spot. Nearly recovered, but unfortunately it was not. Oh, man. I like to see pressure coming in off the bat. Who is number 91? Shalik Calhoun. You got to come up with the football there, buddy. Second and uh, 26 here. They're going to run the football. Leonard Fournette breaks a tackle. He's still going. What is going on? Only picks up three. That's like the best three-yard gain I've ever seen. I think I can confidently say that. Third and 23. They're going to throw the football. They have some open options. But thankfully, Derek Higgins gets a hand in there and forces an incompletion. Really would have hated to allow a first down on third and 23. And Pat O'Donnell, the new Jags punter, will pin us uh, pretty deep in terms of where they were. But 35? You know, starting from 35 is not bad field positioning at all. Had a lot of requests to run the football, but I assume a lot of these runs aren't being shown. Of course, this is being edited by my editor for the Oilers series Franchise Nation, or Franchise City, excuse me. Franchise City's link will be down in the comments at some point, and he'll pop it up on the screen as well. Uh, so definitely make sure to, to do that franchise. But uh, yeah, I, I'm sure he's not including a lot of these runs because they don't go anywhere, and I'm, I'm not talking. And if it's a two-yard gain, there really isn't too much to show. Like It's it's pretty boring for the most part as uh, we're going to go ahead and go back to David Montgomery, and he trips and falls. Awesome. Third and 11. Tyree Jackson under center, and we're facing pressure. We're just going to have to dunk it down immediately. That goes to Ferkser. It's a great drive, per usual. And of course, what everyone subscribes to the channel for, these killer punts. Oh, and this might be a good one. Marquette King got some leg behind it. Give me a good bounce. No! Oh, man. Almost. Okay. I'm getting back in the swing of punting. I take too long breaks in between recording, and it just it messes with my punting rhythm. That's what, I, that's what I'm going to go with. I'm trying to cover like eight different guys, and it looks like I did it successfully. Bortles, one for four for five yards. Unbelievably outperforming Tyree Jackson so far. I think we're like, what? Two for two for negative one yard passing? Is that where we are? Let's see what Debo can do returning. All right, not great. There we go, David. There we go, David. Nice little 10 yard gain in there. That's what we want. Well, more than 10, obviously, but that's a great run. Slant wide open across the middle. Kelvin Harmon, the rookie at NC State, moving the chains. First down. That's going to be open. Tyree Jackson, drop it in. Kelvin Harmon. What a grab. 30 yard gain. There we go, baby. Now we're moving. Now we're getting it together. Kelvin Harmon is leading the way. The receivers are getting open. They're hanging on to the football. This is what I like to see. Let's move Kelvin Harmon onto an in. Got Debo on and out. One of these guys is going to get open. It's going to be Kelvin Harmon. End zone. Oh, wow. Almost a diving interception by A.J. Boye. I thought we got separation there. David Montgomery. Okay. Not a great gain, but we're moving in there. It's going to be third and goal from the four. I want to pass. We're going to stick Y fade, and we're going to send Debo on a, I think we're going to send him on a slant. David Montgomery, put him, we'll put him on a block and release. And I feel like we'll fade Kelvin Harmon. Might take a chance on him if we see something. Um, I don't like my options. I'm just going to throw that. What a terrible decision. Yeah, if something was open, I clearly didn't see it. We're going to settle for a field goal. And uh, hopefully take the lead here in Jacksonville, Florida. And I think we will. Right down the middle. 3 nothing Oilers. Okay, not a bad start. All right, third and inches. Let's go ahead and use her Adderley. Okay. 
Vortal's gonna throw, and he he picks up the first. Are we serious out here? It's Corey Davis. All right, all right. Third down and four, and uh, Blake Bortles is looking like Blake Bortles. Not even close. That that's gonna be open. We got that in there. Kelvin Harmon continues his big day. Tyree Jackson's throwing the ball pretty well overall, which is a nice change from the first couple of episodes. And uh, we might take a shot here. I wish I could force press from the Jags, but we're actually going to run the ball. I want to take a shot, but I don't know if Kelvin Harmon just can outperform A.J. Boye in a one-on-one -on -one situation. One-on-one, -on -one, David Montgomery is destroyed. Ronnie Harrison. He looks like a defensive end. Why is he so big? Third and five. We have, we have a number of options here, and I'm really not choosing to go to any of them. Oh, my God. I cracked. I feel like that one player. Ronnie Harrison, again. I feel like he's covering everyone on the field. Oh, my goodness. We'll try a field goal. Fourth and two. I'm a better punter than I am a field goal kicker. This one might not go in. Who am I kidding? I'm a god. I'm a god. A reasonably easy field goal? That's god level stuff. 6 nothing. This is domination. Jags don't even have a chance to come back. Here we go. That's a great run there from Leonard Fournette. Looking a little bit like Trent Richardson. Not ideal. Third and three. The Jaguars have looked terrible so far. But that's going to be the two minute warning. And we'll see if we can hold off the Jags from scoring again. A stop here would be huge. I'd love to get a sack. I'd love to take down Bortles. That would be awesome. We're going to try to dial up some pressure to make sure that happens. Give us a better shot. And where is Nasir? I don't I don't actually know. All right. Oh, he's right there. Dude, I pressed triangle. No. Oh, my God. I didn't get an animation. I didn't get a jump. Bortles going into the hurry up. This is where he's at his most dangerous. I guess. Oh, look at, look at that coverage. Look at that coverage! Look at the user pick! Easy reads! Everybody poops! Easiest read, Nasir Adderley. Pick six, the user pick hype. 47 yards to the house for the Delaware product. And we're gonna go up 13-0. Oh my god. Who does it better? Oh my goodness. I bet every competitive Madden player wish the, they had these abilities. Look at this. 13 nothing against the All-Pro CPU. Are you kidding me right now? Get on my level, dude. Oh, my goodness. Nasir Adderley is tired. He's not in the field. BW Webb is playing strong safety. That could be an issue. Oh, it's picked off by Terrence Brooks. That would have been where Nasir Adderley was. A juke move. Oh, my God. He's gone. Terrence Brooks, who was only playing free safety because Nasir Adderley was tired from the pick six, gives us back-to-back -back pick sixes. Keep eating. We're going for two. No, we're going to make it 21-0. And that means the Jaguars are going to have to quit via the 21 skunk rule. It's going to be game over. One-on-one. -on -one. Kelvin Harmon. I like I like the option. Ooh, that is not open. That is not open. That I didn't... Mm. You know what? Didn't have much of gameplay there. Just kind of call the play. Okay. Oh, they're taking a deep shot. Isaiah Oliver is destroyed. And you might be saying, hey, were you using Nasir Adderley? Yes, I was. I was in a hook zone. I trusted Isaiah Oliver one-on-one, -on -one and it did not work out. He just got absolutely cooked. And then, of course, broke a ton of tackles after that. It's Corey Davis again. Brutal. I like using the safety, though. I might stay on fear in this year. And that is... That should have been a touchdown. I'm going to be honest with you. Marquise Lee just dropped the football. I guess Derek Higgins is also a captain. His visor doesn't fit the face mask at all. I got to make changes. I feel like I said that last episode. I didn't make any changes. All right, we're running the same defense. We just got crushed in this. Hopefully they run a different play. And that is a great play by Stefan Anthony. Our defense is looking great today. Offense, not so much, but we still have managed to score a bunch because of the defense. All right, okay. If Leonard Fournette would have managed to score there, I might have quit. 
We're going to try a timeout here. Fourth and three. I imagine the Jaguars will settle for a field goal. Probably the right move, although it is fourth and three. I mean, you might just... I feel like you just go for this here from the five. But, uh, no. It's going to be 19 to three. 40 or so seconds left. 38. Yeah, 38. 37. Can we score? Almost certainly not. Probably a waste of a time out there. We have posts going here. I might just send Kelvin Harmon on a nine route. Maybe look for Debo on this on the uh, on the post. Kelvin Harmon has a little bit of separation. We're gonna throw the ball up to him. He's got a lot of separation, and he dropped the football. I tried a rack catch there. Boye covered the space up so well. We might try that again. Really, I thought he was gone. They got single high safety. I might. Can Debo burn Jalen Ramsey? Almost certainly not. And I was sacked. I'm trying to get the ball to Kelvin Harmon. They're calling timeouts. Oh, boy. Third and 17. I, didn't, I just kept dropping back. Nothing was getting open. Uh, this, this fell apart really quickly. Jacksonville has one timeout. I'm going to have to punt back. And they're going to they're gonna probably score again. No, they're not. But this they could have. It's kind of close. Bortles under pressure, gets the throw off, end zone, and intercepted it. I don't even know who came down with it. 27? Who is 27? No, we're going to find out. We're going to find out right now. I need to know who made this interception. I, I don't even have a clue who it could be. Jaguars is not what team I am. Defensive picked off by Josh Kalu. Wow. Starting off the second half. We're going deep. Pick up the block. I'm going to throw it. White. Kevin White. There we go. All right. Wasn't my initial uh, target on that one, but it got open. Pressure came. You settle for it. Kelvin Harmon. Go up and get the football. Kelvin. Ah. Would have been a sick catch. I'm trying to kill AJ Boye. He just keeps making some good plays, though. Pretty good run by David Montgomery, to be fair. Second half is going to be David Montgomery. We didn't pick it up on third, and David Montgomery's injured. I guess the second half is not going to be all David Montgomery. Can we hit from 57? Definitely. Definitely not. No, that's a bad attitude. Definitely. Oh, I, I've drilled it. Mm, maybe not. Maybe. Oh my god. Sign me to a pro contract. 22 to 3 against the All-Pro CPU. Have you ever seen anything like it before in your life? Unreal talent. Strain tricep out for the game. Guess who's coming in? Kedrick Cunningham. Ozark State fans will love this. Kedrick Cunningham is now the starting running back. If we, well, if Dave Montgomery misses next week, uh, hopefully he doesn't. Bortles is looking sharp today, let me tell you. He's looking great. That's a big play. That is a big, big play. Stefan Anthony, and down goes Corey. Nope, Cam Robinson, their left tackle. Corey Robinson. Who is that? Oh, uh, Bortles going deep. Higgins! That's a great play. Ozark State, Derek Higgins making the big pass breakup. And Pat O'Donnell back out to punt. Okay, so I guess it's not Kedrick Cunningham. Who is this? Who is Rose? Who is Ro like actually? Who is Rose? I don't. I don't know. How do I not know the players of my own team at all? Larry Rose. I was gonna call him Larry. Who is this? I don't know. I'm honestly down for some Larry action. We're going to move him up. Larry's going to stay in the game. And oh my god, he's looking sharp. Look at Larry go. Let's go, Larry. Living like Larry. Oh my god, Larry, Larry Rose. You guys heard of the Texas Rose before? Earl Campbell, right? Well, not the Texas Rose, but I'm trying to make it for Larry as well. Um... 
Larry Rose is unbelievable. Now we got Kedrick Cunningham in the game. Let's send him on a wheel route. See if he can make some... Oh, it's a blitz. We're going to lob it up. That was a mistake. Calais Campbell in coverage. That's who picks me off. There's a flag. It's still going to be a pick. Not good. Illegal block in the back. Either way, we're going to lose the ball. We'll do first and 10 on own 23. Earl Campbell is, of course, the Tyler Rose from Tyler, Texas. I don't know where Larry's from, but he his last name actually is Rose. That was our mistake, was not giving it to Larry. Over the middle, ASJ. BW Webb makes the play. Larry Rose went to New Mexico State. He's a running back. Obviously. Laurels is on one today, dude. He's looking real good. Play action. Oh, I got fooled, but guess what? They own Buchanan on the blitz, did not. Takes down Bortles. That's going to bring us to the end of the third quarter. I guess Pat O'Donnell is going to get the punt off. I don't know how they got lined up and got the punt off in less than a second. And they pin us at the eight. All right. Now, welcome back to the field, Larry. Rose the third. Not his, not his best effort. Second and 11. This is Kedrick Cunningham. I tried to lower the shoulder. He's not really that style of back. It's going to be third and nine. We're going to end up punting, I'm sure. Might as well take a shot, right? We're going to do it. Kelvin Harmon, go up, get the football. I would have taken the interception. That would have been just a punt, essentially. Would have been a throwing punt. Boye drops it. Kelvin Harmon never really even made an attempt. It's alright. It's a screen. Idiot! User pick easy reads the giving tree. I run out of I don't know what to do. Alright. I, I run out of these children's books. I try to get everybody poops worked in there. But uh yeah, you can't be throwing screens on me. It's just not gonna happen. This is absolute domination. I'm sure this is not what you guys want to see. Right? I can't help that. It's, I got a gift, alright? I gotta go with it. Are you stupid? Are you smoking crack rocks, Blake Bortles? I'm right. What's a book? What's a children's book? What's an easy read? Green Eggs and Ham. I gotta throw it up. I gotta throw it up to Green Eggs and Ham. What an idiot Blake Bortles is. How many. Is that. Twice now, he's thrown back-to-back -back pick sixes. We scored on offense a couple times. Not, no touchdowns, I don't think. It's all defensive points. Nice little five-interception day for Blake Bortles. Gotta love it. I've left that wide open. I'm gonna go for the hit stick. Mm, okay. We scared him out of bounds. Sometimes that's what it takes. Oh, that's a late break on the ball, Higgins. Come on now. See that earlier? Look at that pursuit from the free safety spot. Oh, that was me usering? Oh, okay. Never. I knew the game couldn't be programmed that well. Oh, I, I lost it. And I found it again! User pick! Easy reads! One fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish. And I can't house it because I have no energy and Blake Bortles makes a tackle. <laughs> Whatever, dude. Oh, look at green. Who is this? I don't know any. Is this? Wait, I think I saw it in the depth chart. Is it Tion Green? Maybe. Dude, Tion Green is kind of a monster. Ooh, Kedrick Cunningham in the game. Let's see if he can get things going. I'm thinking. Oh my goodness, he's got some space. Go, Kedrick. The spin back. Oh, if he would have broken that tackle. Who's the starting running back going to be now if David Montgomery misses time? Is it Kedrick Cunningham? Is it Larry Rose, the third? I don't know. It's a good block. Blocking, I'm going to be honest with you, it's been a little bit too good today from a run blocking standpoint. I got to lower that. I do. It's been too easy. Even though we haven't been able to run the ball in the past. I don't know. That is uh, pretty much going to be the game. We'll give Tion Green one more carry. Might be his final run of the season. Who knows? 
All right, I'll, I'll take it. That's going to do it for this game. Absolute domination. I was putting on a user pick display. I know a lot of people hate that, or at least they used to in Giants franchise. So maybe they uh, still don't like it. Bortles had a rough day, I think. Rushing, David Montgomery was all right. And then Larry Rose, I mean, he, he was looking good. He was looking solid. Teon Green, I don't really know who that is. The running backs were all too good. David Montgomery was the worst of the bunch. We struggled to run the ball early, and then, I mean, we just ran away with it. No pun intended. Receiving, Kelvin Harmon was the focal point of the receiving game today. He was just open a lot, and I tried to feed it to him a couple times. Debo, couldn't really find him. Daryl Williams allowed two sacks. It is what it is. What can you do? Two tackles for loss for Ed Oliver. A sack for Daniel Buchanan and Romeo Aquara. Two interceptions for this year. Adderley, one for Josh Kalou, one for Daniel Buchanan, one for Terrence Brooks, and one for Stefan Anthony. And pass deflections for Derek King. It's three of them. A forced fumble for Romeo Aquara, and then touchdowns for Nasir Adderley, Dale Buchanan, Terrence Brooks, and Stefan Anthony. That's going to do it for the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one. Take it easy.